Welcome back to our channel, Hume's Little Homestead. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Let me know in the comments if you're having a good day. If not, that's all right. You can let me know if you're having a bad day. I am excited for this video and also a little nervous. Today's video is going to be a product review. A company called Grubterra reached out to us to see if we would review their product. I'm a little nervous about today's video and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you a little secret about my past. <laughs> Before I started our family vlog, our family YouTube channel, I was actually in a direct sales company for three years. I sold makeup and it's probably funny because you don't always see me wearing makeup on this channel, on this platform. I don't wear makeup very often anymore. But the reason I'm nervous about today's video is because it's very important to me that I do honest reviews on products and honest give honest feedback on things that I have used. So whatever I'm using on the channel is stuff that I really do use in my personal life. Now this product I'm showing you today, I don't, I don't really know if I would have purchased it. And I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm just letting you know that I'm gonna give you an honest review. <laughs> So I'm nervous because I don't want the company to hate me or something because I'm going to post this video. But I also, the reason I left the makeup company I was in was because I was unhappy with the products after three years, three years of selling. So when I first joined the makeup company, this is just a random little backstory. When I first joined the makeup company that I decided I was going to sell, I really enjoyed their products. And after being in their company for a couple of years, I noticed I did not like their products as much anymore and I did not want to recommend the products to my friends and family. I felt like it was not worth the price. So it's important to me, which is funny because I still use some of those products, I just don't sell all of their products. It was all or nothing for me when I was selling because I wanted to make sure that I loved every single product that I was recommending and to be in a company that's selling products, for me, I felt like I really needed to like all the products and I, I didn't like all the products, but I still do use some of the products and if you're curious about what makeup products I use, I can let you know. I still have a friend who sells the same uh, from the same company that I was in and I purchased from her the products that I like. So anyway, that's very random, not homesteading, not gardening, not farming, not farming. really cute packaging with a rooster on there it says farm raised keeps feathers healthy produces stronger eggshells it's called black soldier fly larva I'm going to be honest with you I haven't done much research on this company I was just kind of doing a blind test I was gonna open it and do a blind test and not do any research just see what came so the packaging is really nice and it's at Grub Terra, every decision we make is focused on healing the earth. We are doing that by converting food waste into delicious chicken feed by using black soldier fly larva. One pound of grub is 20 pounds of food waste saved from landfills. Wow, that's really neat. I didn't know any of this. Feeding instructions. We recommend feeding a handful of Grub Terra's dried black black soldier fly larva to your chickens daily. These are a snack and should only consist of a few handfuls daily. A 16 ounce bag feeds up to five chickens per month. I can't believe they had to write that on there. Not for human consumption. Okay, please don't eat this. All right, and then it has your nutrition facts for your animal. That's really neat. Black. Cool. There's all the information. And I'll put this down in the description box too. 
well, I really like what I'm seeing so far. All right, I'm nervous to open it. I feel like it's gonna be kind of yucky because we all know what fly larvae are, right? Okay, so we're gonna open this up and it has a resyllable, oh my gosh, okay. That's gross. <laughs> but chickens love bugs, so let's go give them some bugs. I like that it's a resyllable bag, it's sturdy material, and it has a cute picture on the front. I'm not sure if this is made in America or not. It has the United States on here, so I'm assuming that it is, but you know, it's not great to assume. I won't say with a, what my family says about that word, <laughs> because we have young listeners. All right, let's go see if the chickens like this snack and the guineas and the ducks. We have, ooh, I can give some to our quail too. Let's go see what our animals do with, this, with these. Let's see how the quail react first. Okay, so I don't really have the stomach to touch those things. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But I'm gonna put some in here. Just a few. And see how they react. They've never seen anything like this before, so they aren't looking too interested. Let's try our other side real fast. Let's see if this other side is more interested. Do you like them? Look at there's some food. Let me try and sprinkle some of their regular food on top of them and see if they'll go for that. They're not really interested. There we go. Let's see if they'll eat any of those guys. doesn't like the camera. This one has a little bit of a funky beak, but she's okay. She still eats fine. I just won't hatch any of her eggs. They, okay, so the quail don't seem that interested. Oh, let's see, maybe she'll go for it. You guys see your food? The new food I got you? Well, I didn't get it for you. It was sent for free. <laughs> okay. I don't know if quail like these treats. So if you have quail, maybe not. I'm gonna pour more food in there. There, it ate one. I saw it, I saw it get one. we go. I think they're starting to like it. They just had never seen that before. That's well, kind of a fun treat to give your birds. These guys are all molting right now. 
Do you like your little treat? Okay, the quail like their regular food better. Let's go try some other animals. That's interesting. Maybe they're too big for the quail beaks. They're kind of big. I'm gonna show them again. I'm sorry if you're squeamish. I'm feeling a little squeamish, I'm not gonna lie. I know it's all nature and all good, but I don't know. Fly larva <laughs> is gross. <laughs> All right, let's go see if the chickens, guineas, and ducks really like this treat. And again, I'm using this to scoop them out. I'll give the chickens and ducks way more. I only gave like five of them, five or six of them to the quail. But they didn't seem to go after it. They like their regular food better. So quail, maybe not, maybe not this treat for quail if you're raising quail. Super high quality though, and I'm sure if they decide to eat it, then It'll be good for them, like good nutrition, nutritious treat. Say bye, quail. Hey, ducky duckies, I have a snack. And try it but the chickens that tried it they really liked it so and I couldn't get near enough to the guineas they kind of are free spirits and they don't like when I come near them and so I think I'm gonna try again tomorrow now that they've seen the product seen the product now that they've seen the grubs they see and know that these are food I think maybe tomorrow they will like them better today they didn't really care they were like Hello, what is this you're trying to get us to eat? And why are you trying to film us? And anyway, my chickens were not into filming today. It's like a kid, you can't like let the... It's like when my kids don't want to be on film, they don't want to be on film. Maybe that's what my chickens are doing today. I don't know, they're just like running away. And I'm like, 
Come on, guys. I want you to try this food. Well, I will try again tomorrow. And then hopefully I will have some good footage of these chickens and birds eating it. The product looks very nice. It looks... I mean, it looks nasty because it's grubs, but <laughs> but it looks um, well packaged and no weird smell or anything like that. It looks fresh. That's the word I'm looking for, fresh. And so we'll try again tomorrow to see if I can get any of my birds eating this on camera. As of today, they were not having it. It is a very windy day though as well, so maybe that is affecting, they're maybe not as hungry. I don't know. They just are like... I don't really care for this, which is weird because usually they like treats. So I'm going to try again tomorrow and see if they will eat something on camera. <laughs> sorry about the wind. It's another day. I'm sorry. It's a very windy day. It is the second time I'm going to try giving my chickens, ducks, and guineas, and quail this treat. Let's see how they do today. Yesterday, they were not interested at all. It's even windier than yesterday, but let's just see. Let's see if they like them this time. I'm gonna be brave because I didn't bring my little thing over here. Oh, I'm gonna be brave. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put these in for the quail and see if they like them better today. They didn't like them last time, but they never say anything like it. You guys gonna try it out?
Squirrel seemed to be uninterested. Let's see, I put some more in there. Let's see if they'll go for more. They're waiting in their food thing. Sorry, this is bad filming. Can you eat it? Oh yeah, there she goes. She's giving them a try. Okay, hey, that side's eating them. Let's see if this side will eat some. They're like, hey, what's going on? Where's our food? They hopped right in. Their container's kind of yucky. They pooped on it last night. Gonna try them out. Hmm. Your buddies are trying them out. Well, these guys ate them all. Well, that's kind of a fun treat to give your birds. I'm gonna give them their regular food now. I think quail have the prettiest feathers. So that's our male right there. This is our male, and the rest are females. There's three females and a male on that side. This side is deciding they don't like it, I guess. There. Well, this is kind of cool. It's fun to give them a little treat. Deciding you like it now. Well, I guess the quail give the grub Terra a thumbs up. very chilly out here but the birds are really enjoying this snack this grub terra treat and we actually have a discount code for you to use that I will put in the description box below if you want to buy this or purchase this um, treat for your chickens or guineas 
The ducks still haven't been very interested in it. So I don't know if I'd recommend this for ducks, but chickens, guineas, and quail, they like it after they've seen it a couple days and they're like, okay, this is food. So thank you so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this video and we definitely recommend Grub Terra treats. And um, so if you want to grab some, we'll put that discount code right in the description box for you. Bye. Now that the quail know what those are, the grub terras, they go for them first. So I just put them right on top of their food and they really love it. Mm-hmm.